Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Alive, it's alive. Welcome to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'll make it pop. With your host, Parker. Featuring the sultry sounds of Fred and also Alan on the board. Let's go already! And now, let's start the damn show. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the 160th reading on the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. Proudly broadcasting live from the Palatial EC Studios, scattered all across the state of South Carolina. We're so glad you're here. You can always catch us on YouTube, Insta, Facebook, X, and all your favorite podcast platforms. And, of course, blcpodcast.com, which is still a website. Right. And now, it's everyone's favorite DEI hire. It's Fred. <laughs> <laughs> We're going straight to it, Fred, tonight. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been hired as a diversity hire. I don't think so. <laughs> well, this is the first time for what is, what is the I've been, I've been, diversity, I've been, equity, it, equality, no, and... It, it, Inclusion, diversity, equality, and inclusion. Equality and inclusion. Yeah. Uh, okay. Equality. So, so you, technically, you were yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been I've been the only black guy at a couple jobs though. Right. I mean, like if the cops show up, you you gotta talk for all of us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All of us methods. Yeah. They all they all uh, you. They talk. They talk for me. They talk for me. <laughs> and introducing Alan Ot. <laughs> That's right, the crowd's with me today. Again, no. For shizzle. For shizzle and, and dizzle. Yeah, for shizzle. And drizzle, because it's raining and like drizzle. crazy. We're, surviving, we're in the middle of surviving a hurricane, ladies and gentlemen. So, Storm of the century. If this, if you don't ever hear this, if it's found at the bottom of the ocean, this, that's why. <laughs> this this one recording on the internet. <laughs> join us join us next week in our watery grave yeah watery grave <laughs> that's still a good one so welcome to the show ladies and gentlemen we are so glad you're here we're so glad that none of us have met a watery grave yet no. hopefully we'll still be here next week yep. but we'll find out yeah, what's going on life. well Fred you had me worried last when you told me Earlier that you were like, you know, earlier last week you were like, I'm going on a trip. Oh yeah, me and yeah. the boys, me and some of the boys, yeah. and we don't know when we'll be back, and we also don't know where we're going. <laughs> so we see ya, Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, we went. We were looking for Bigfoot in the uh, North Carolina oh, mountains. There you go. Nice hey, dog man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, on my annual guys golf trip annual. this weekend, mm-hmm. and uh. It was pretty good, man. It was pretty good. We had a, we went from Thursday through Saturday. Okay, so yeah. now last year, if I recall correctly, you guys went, and that was with Rosa Parks family. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like okay. someone, they were Rosa Parks' distant relatives were having a right. family reunion or something, and like one of the ladies died over there, man. Oh, right damn! Next door. Yeah, right. yeah, I remember that. I'm surprised. Yeah, that yeah, but uh, luckily this time nobody died. All right, all right, nobody that's good. Died. At least not you know physically not yet, emotionally. <laughs> we uh, we thought we were gonna get rained out, but we didn't. Like we got up there Wednesday. Okay, where first like, we set the scene. Where did you guys? Did oh, you guys sorry, go yeah, north? We went yes, we went north. Went south last year. Went to Alabama last right. year. This year we went North Carolina up to uh-huh. Lake Lure. Lake <laughs> Lake what a it's place. like up in the mountains, man. It's pretty up there, man. Like, oh yeah, no, it's a gorgeous place. Yeah, like that's a rich people place. Yeah, one of the uh, the first course we played, like I said on Wednesday, it was like at the base of a mountain, so like you can really see the yeah the height of the mountain in the backdrop and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's real cool, Beautiful. man. Serene. Yeah, we uh. We finished up that round, and then like you know, we had that was a that was drive day, so uh, you know everybody was like hungry and 
Sure. You know, tired. So because we played before we checked in, like we went straight up uh, there, played yeah, around, straight to it. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, so uh, my buddy that I rode with, he was like, "Hey, man, you know, you're hungry. You want to go to this little restaurant right here and get something to eat?" I was like, "Hell yeah!" And uh, like the guy who put the shit together, he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, open up the house." You know, and you know, I was like, "Okay, yeah. cool." And then we asked everybody else, you know, y'all want to go? And then like two other guys joined us, but everybody else was like, no, I'm, we're going. So, so they went up to the house, did whatever. We're eating and we stayed there about an hour and get ready to go back. And I was like, nobody else came to eat. And I was like, shit, they're picking rooms. Yeah. yeah like, you got this that. year. Yeah. I was like, fuck, they're picking rooms, man. And I told my buddy, I was like, Hey man, let's go. I was like, they're fucking too late now. Fucking stuck with yeah, yeah. It was too late. Yeah. And so we get back, and everybody, yeah, just like I said, everybody had their rooms, and I was like, all the the party house was full. Okay. Like there was one bed left in the party house, and it was a bunk bed. It was the bottom bunk. <laughs> and you had you had to sleep with another dude, and I was like, like no, I'm in. I don't do that. This I is why I went to eat. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I've mean, got sleeping on the bottom pump, man. I don't know. It's just, if it was so you had, man, you had, so you had multiple houses? Yes, we had two houses. They okay. were like, how many right people were on this trip? trip? There were 12 of us. Uh, rocks. Okay, 12 people. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, you guys really yeah. were like the only ones who didn't, who were yeah. suckers enough. Last year we had eight and yeah. we only had one house and it was like, I think it was five bedrooms, and most of the bedrooms had two beds. In them. So you Alan noticed two, that they, they two like queen beds. So they, like they opened up four spots, Alan, and you and I got zero of those invites. By the way, yep, yeah. nothing. Just want to note that for the audience. You ain't going. I go play some. I go hit the links. You ain't going. You ain't yeah. going. I could go. I could just go out there to sass yeah. you guys. Yeah, I'd be like, like, who are those guys? Yeah. Who are those guys who like stand at the the tea boxes and they're like, hey, you got a third one oh, called the, whatever. Yeah, the back yeah. off, the back off guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah we could call. Them, we'll be the jerk off guys. <laughs> and I'll be like, I'm jerk us off. Touching <laughs> you with my wiener. Like, what are you gonna know about that, fella? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to find my room, so I have to go over to the second house. So you went to a hole in one. Okay, so there's two houses. There's a party yeah. house, right? Right. Is that one, the one with all the baby oil and shit in it? The, the, the no, ditty. Ditty's not a. There's not a. There's not a ditty off or freak oh, off. Okay. <laughs> we tee <laughs> off. We don't freak off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. If you say so, the T stands for testicles. I get to the second house. <laughs> everything upstairs. Everybody's in them. So like my my buddy, he took the he took the bottom bunk. Over at the other house, yep. and there was one bed left, Ooh. and it was downstairs in the basement. Buckle up, like, buckaroos! A whole unfinished basement. Oh, that's like, awesome. creepy ass basement. Creepy ass basement with like fluorescent lighting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like uh, that's where the real parties happen. Yeah, it was like, it was like a sex dungeon, like. For real, like it was, we were like, because we're in cabins, you know, we're like cabins, right. they're houses, but they're in the woods. And the first night I went to bed, like I turned the lights out. There's no curtains on the windows. Yeah. There's no curtains in the woods, on the windows. Bro. In the so it was like, still, out. the next morning I woke up. My buddy had walked out the, the side of the, like, because he had a whole balcony out there. You have a whole balcony yeah. out there, and he walked up the balcony. I don't know. I'm I just spanking woke it. up and I'm laying and I'm scrolling. Good thing I wasn't, but I'm scrolling on my phone. <laughs> Next thing I know, he's like peering at me in the window. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what the fuck, man? <laughs> he was going to You want to go get something to eat? <laughs> he's like I don't want to lose this again. <laughs> oh uh-uh, no! You're freaking me out. No eating for Fred I mean, again. But yeah, it was good though, man. We had we had fun. We had fun. Uh, nobody hurt themselves. Good. There was one guy who had hurt himself previously before the trip, and he couldn't use his 
right arm, left arm. Oh, oh, okay. Right. So let well, okay, hold on a second. So once again, right. Alan and I, which <laughs> yeah. with almost two totally <laughs> capable arms each. <laughs> No invite. One arm golfer. You yep. would not be able to. You would not be able to hit hit the ball straighter with two arms than this dude with one arm. He I'm was hitting the this ball. Guy you've ever met. 150 yards, 200 yards, one handed. Yeah. Just imagine if he had shot. two hands like me. Every shot. It's insane. It's insane. <laughs> no. Do you yeah, want to go? I'm glad, now? The, I'm glad the drummer. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad the drummer from. No, I don't want to fucking go, Fred. The drummer from Def Leppard showed yeah, up. I'm glad the, the drummer from Def Leppard had a good time. Bastard. We, we were calling him a slot machine. There you go. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> One arm bandit. He was money. One arm bandit out there. He's money though. Yeah, he was. He so was. how many? Uh, I don't. I guess. Yeah, how many rounds? You played one round of golf at each place that you went, or did you play multiple? We played ones two at- rounds. There were two courses, and we played two rounds on each of them. Okay, so, so four. Yeah. So you got total golf. golf. It was Apple. Apple Valley was the first one, and uh, Apple Bottom. Rumbling, rumbling ball was the rumbling, second. Apple Bottoms, rumbling balls. <laughs> Apple Valley and rumbling balls. I just don't think how this was. Now I see why he, we weren't invited, Fred. Yeah. Or Alan. <laughs> I know. Because he's like, hey, guys, let's all run like balls rumbling. together in the Apple Valley rumbling games. Bald. Yeah. yeah, it'll be bald by the time you rub it that much. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys had a great time. That's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time. Like, and I who? feel oh. – I, uh, I got one more, one more story. I'm, oh, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was parking up with this, uh, one, of, one of the guys named Mark, and – um. He hits an errant drive, I think, yeah, and it kind of landed in the mud. And we didn't, act, you know, you know, you don't see where the ball actually goes. You just know the area. So we we're over there right. looking, and I was like, "Oh shit, it's in the mud." I was like, "Hold on, I'll get it." And I stepped in. I felt like it was real soft, but I was like, "Maybe it'll hold me. It'll hold my weight." And then the second step, I pushed down with my foot, but it was I couldn't. And I, I felt oh, I was going like I was going. It had got up to like my calf, and I could like I stepped really? in quicksand, bro. I stepped in quicksand. Like I felt myself going, <laughs> and I had to like lay it down, like turn and lay on my stomach, and like oh, hey, out of it. Yeah, listen, dude. Like you know what? Mark I'm proud of you for listening to the rules. <laughs> Yeah, he did. He did. He did exactly what he's he supposed he, to do. And he said you go like pitfall, like <laughs> going, like better than that, and being than <laughs> telling oh your wife God. that you lost the reason that you didn't come home is because you got lost yeah. in the quicksand on on fucking three <laughs> on rumbling ball. Yeah, yeah. rumbling yeah. ball got another one. It just got yeah. soaked in, man. <laughs> I mean, I like got blazing saddles. You remember blazing saddles when they yeah. Went, yeah. get the train, get the train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can tell you, I was getting sucked in, man. Like oh, I man. felt myself going, man. And that should have taught you I, never help anyone else ever again. Yeah. Uh, then the, uh, we got back to the, uh, you know, we got done with the round and got back back to the sex to dungeon, the yeah. Clubhouse oh. to the clubhouse, yep. and uh, oh, yeah. they have like a little, uh, like a little caddy man. He'll come like wipe your clubs down and take the cart back while you unload. He, 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 he was us. like, he was like, hey. <laughs> Where'd you find the mud, son? Like he saw my fucking leg just covered in mud. Where'd you find the mud? And you tell him it was quicksand. Yeah, I told him. Yeah, I was like quicksand on seventeen. Quick mud. That's what it was. Quick mud. Quick there you mud. go. Mud. Yeah, there you but go. Stepped in mud, but. Well, so let me ask you a couple more questions, friend. I know you don't want to dwell on it too long, or or you know call out anybody specifically, right. and I'm not trying to get mm-hmm. you to do that. But okay. so I just have some, so if, if Alan and I are going to crash this next year without you, you don't have to invite us. We're okay. just going to show up. Yeah, show not, up. A okay. not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Golf right. clubs in hand. Golf. I only have one golf club. That's all I need. Something yeah, that I got. A, I got a five iron. iron. That's all you need. Got a five iron. You get, you get a putter and yeah. maybe a seven iron. And I have no intention of putting. Ever. Yeah. Like a one put, iron. I have a. I'm a hole in one kind of guy. You're just going to hit the hole in one. Hold on one or I'm done. Look at Fred's got his handheld mic. Way. This is crazy to me. Uh, wait, what? 
I just I don't know. That. Yeah. yeah well, it's weird. Yeah, he, he, anyway. He's doing the golf thing. He is doing the yeah. golf thing. <laughs> Rolling ball. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> some more back. guests. <laughs> Fresh. Here comes Fred to the up to box number one. Fresh bling, from his sex bling, dungeon. Bling, 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 Welcome back to he, the 2024 bling. undistinguished gentleman's golf tournament. Fred said he <laughs> subbed great last night when the single light bulb that was suspended from the ceiling went out <laughs> unexpectedly. Oh, yeah. And awesome. we've got a sponsor, too. We had a sponsor, too, and our sponsor was PHG. We'll sleep with your sister. There and then go. make some golf clubs after it. BHG. Yeah. These clubs are made in America and Arizona by Mexican Vietnamese children. <laughs> BHG. We do things differently. Not right, probably not gonna sponsor next but year. Different. <laughs> Maybe not a sponsor next year now, but you never know. Well, so do you guys do you do this? Like, I know you do this obviously for fun and to yeah. and for camaraderie's sake. Right. But yeah. Important to me, do you keep score? Yes. Is there like a do you like have a pool at the end of the game? At the end no, of the pool? we didn't we didn't like, have any money on it. We did um so like the way we did it was uh first two rounds, it was a uh, stroke play. So sure. you just keep up with your own score. I bet you it was then, stroke play. A lot of yeah, strokes. Stroke yeah, lot of, yeah, I bet you wait wait, wait till we get to the scramble. Uh, I'm glad you kept up with your own strokes and weren't forced to keep up with other dudes' strokes. Yeah, I know. You can't keep up with nobody. You can only count your own strokes. It's true. I stroked it 96 times. First Damn. Time. That's pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, if that's pretty good, not. yeah. Yeah, you, you want the lower strokes. You know, some people that's think, oh, look, look, he's got more strokes than me. So what is that, what, a 15 better. handicap? That's a 20, right? Almost uh, a 20 handicap? That's almost twenty. I mean, it's yeah. it's not good, but like, he's at least seventy five percent handicap, Alan. It's better. <laughs> it's better than you know I had been doing. So. Right. Well, you're getting better. So yeah. So you didn't keep you kept score, but only for the sake of bragging rights. Right, and then the third day we did um, we we played well, we played we played like a uh, match play, which is you right. just. You're partnered with the you guy versus the guy with your the closest score, two scores. Okay. You know, so and then like that was kind of like our championship day. Sure. Yeah, side bets galore. Yeah. No, no, no side bets, no money in it. Cause like the guy that was the I I would have to say the best out there that weekend was uh, a guy named Derek. And he he shot an 81. Yeah, he shot an eight. No, it was an eighty-four. He shot an eighty-four first day. No, eighty-one the first day, eighty-four second day. And like, I mean, dude's just—he knows how to play golf. You know what I'm saying? Good he's, golf. he's really good. He's was really he the one arm guy? No, he was not the one arm. Okay, just checking. What he was mean? the other black guy. one arm man. What I get? What I get? He's, he's the like, other black I don't guy. Care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Who's the one arm guy? I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we also do a thing um, on the last day. We we do do a closest to the hole challenge, yeah, and that yeah. is called who can eat the cookie. <laughs> so uh, we we all pick a part three, you know, one part three that we want to uh, do it at, and. Oh, some, oh fuck! I forgot. Some more I got to tell you too. Shit. Um, so you so get a part like three. whoever, whoever, whoever is closest to the hole. You wait till the middle of the night. No. <laughs> Everybody goes out there with no underwear on. <laughs> and whoever gets closest to the hole, the rest have to clean it up, right? No. I we used to play that all the time. I bet you did. Yeah, it was called. So, Bury the goes to the hole. Get your get know. your next year's trip paid for. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next year. So, like, close have you already hole. determined the trip beforehand, or is it like you decide like the close the guy who's closest? Is like, we're going to Bali. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. No. 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 We 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 want to do a Puerto Rico trip, but I right. think he said maybe twenty thirty. You know. So okay. just give us time. Near six years, but. The guy who won it last year, uh, he gets up to you. He misses it. Everybody misses fucking missed it. Misses Nobody the ball or misses? The, 
Okay. Missed the green. They missed okay. the green. Nobody won? Nobody won. And, and some of the guys were like, you know, well, let's carry it over to the – like, no, no, that was it. That's one shot. Mm-hmm. You get yes, one shot. It's like when, like it's when you get one the card. Like one shot. Yeah. It's like yeah, Eminem said, yeah. One shot, you know. if We're not carrying it over. So, like, nobody hit the green. Nobody gets the trip paid for. So Sucks for everybody. Um, sucks for everybody. But the – Okay, so the house that we stayed at, right, the party house, it was right off of the green, like from the porch, you could see down into the green of uh, 15 Okay, was the hole. And Lake Lure, that was the green that, um, from Dirty Dancing. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Lake Lure is where Dancing was shot. I knew that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, it was funny. Like, so after I, we play our rounds, we go sit up on the balcony and drink, talk shit and shit. And uh, I was singing, I people, had the time of my life. Yeah. People would come through, like, when they came through, we would play it. We would play it. So, like, they start walking up to the green and it's, ah, hey, I'm <laughs> <with> my life. <laughs> it's so, it's so stupid. <laughs> what dude? Is- what dude? Like, dude, uh, dude. Also, he was drunk. He's drunk as shit. And um, there was a uh, dude. He walked up to the green. He's just playing by himself, but he had his girlfriend with him. And uh, like, he puts his ball up there, puts it out. You know what I'm saying? But like, his first put, he missed it. And then his second put, he made it. And as they were walking off the green, because we did have a PA system, and Austin grabs the microphone. And he goes, "If you if you had hit that putt, I'd have sucked it." <laughs> Damn. Like, if you had made that putt, I'd have sucked it. And like the girl <laughs> looked up, and she was just like smiling, big grinning, and like dudes all like. Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> He was all walking off, man. <coughs> it was like, look at, <laughs> look at unhappy Gilmore. Yeah. <laughs> unhappy. I held that one. You know they held on that that one all week. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> That's one that Fred picked up on the way back from last year's trip, and he's like, yeah. Yeah. putting yeah. that in, in the old no, spank I, I did. I came up with that. Um, my buddy, uh, my buddy Austin, he was on the on on the T box. And there was a hole over water, and he mm-hmm. fucking hit it into the water twice. And I called him on the Evan Gilmore. <laughs> it was all I, love it. I get it. I would be really, mad too. Yeah. No, we had a good time though, man. It's a good time. That's the main wait. thing. Do you want to shout anybody? Yeah, Did yeah, anybody yeah. get wasted drunk and you had to take care of them? Do you want to shout them uh, out? Steve? Yeah, well, there was a couple guys that stumbled and fell down, you know. That's gonna happen. Though. That's a trip. It's a trip. It's a trip. Yeah, I mean, it's big get it lance. down. I'd big say who 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 was the drunkest out of who's the MVP? Let's get the MVP of the trip and MVP. the drunkest of the trip. We'll give it. It's like both we'll are me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna give. I was, I'm gonna dr- give. I was the drunkest, and then I sucked that dude's dick because he made that putt. <laughs> 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 Next year, he's invited. Uh, yeah, I am. I am. I'm gonna get myself MVP because Saturday. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think it was Saturday. Everybody was too drunk to cook to cook burgers. That's how. There that's what we was eating that night. And I went out there and I, I cooked them burgers. You did it. That's all the day. Hey, you know what? That's dogs. MVP. That's MVP yeah, material right there. It's MVP yeah, material. Yeah. Huh? And that I was agree. good. That was good. We well, also took the hit. I don't give a shout out to Daniel too because he cooked that lasagna. And Great job. Mark, he made that, that breakfast casserole. It's not so like, a food podcast. That was that was not, but like that was my main concern. Like I was like, are we gonna eat? You know what I'm saying? No, I, the only reason I, I the only reason drink. me and Alan would go yeah. is for the food. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. For the food. Ain't gonna have no yeah. food. We ain't going. Them turn dogs. Mm. Mm. I don't know what that is, but it sounds dogs. great. It's a hot dog at the turn. Play nine. Oh, okay. Oh, is that a thing? Clubhouse. Yeah, and then you get a hot dog. Ah, uh, so we only get a beer. You know what I mean? 
Ah, okay. There's food out there. There's food. Oh, there. there's food to be. Do they have the ladies that come around and like, hi, buddy? You need no, to they to did not you? have oh, cart man. girls. They did not have cart girls. Cart ladies. Most cart girls. Is that? You don't want no cart ladies. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. Maybe I, I want like an ex lunch lady. Please make them cute. It's like, yeah, no, I want an ugly with a big mole with the hair growing out. Like, yeah, with you the on a bear hunting. I'm like, mm-hmm. with the big sure underarm do. flap. Sure yeah. do, sugar. Yeah, and she flaps no, it, and that high. opens the beer. Let me cool yeah. you off. It look high. Yeah. No. With the pencil tattoo of a heart. And she's like, watch yeah. this. I can jump off your balcony and float gracefully down to the 15th <laughs> hole. And just takes her arms flap out and just floats on down. <laughs> like a right. flying squirrel. Yep, just like a flying squirrel. She'd be coming around with the cart. I help you. Yeah. I was in dirty dancing, you know. <laughs> I played the dirtiest dancer. Mm. <laughs> Which one are you staying in the sex dungeon? There's, yeah, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> I mean. Well, no, and that's the I thing, Brad. You got to. I, I give you MVP because you took you took one for the team by not getting yeah. as drunk so that you could cook, and then also for getting arguably the shittiest room. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and right. and well, instead of putting literally anything in the window, you just let everybody watch. Okay, <laughs> did, the question: Did you not get as drunk, or you just decided to do the hamburgers? Even I don't though know. You yeah, drunk? I don't think I did. I didn't get as drunk. I didn't get as he knew he knew it was he got started getting hungry and he was like this is gonna go one of two ways because i i mean because that was like i said that was the fourth day yeah that was the fourth day so yeah you you and i I had been drunk you know what i'm saying like you had your fun by then so yeah yeah like i after i cooked i know after i cooked i ate and then i went took a nap yeah right there yeah i was like yeah it was about five and then then Once I stayed blew. up the rest of the night and I got drunk again. Right. And see, that's that's what that that's yeah. how that benefits you. Mm-hmm. And you like burgers, snap, back to the drinking. Good yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad you had a great time. Really good. Yeah, I'm glad really you good. uh went and I'm glad that you're back. And I'm glad, Alan, that we don't have to go. Yep. And he can tell us about out, my hair is gonna be grown out by next year, Fred. So if you guys need like yeah. a lady. You know, just to spice it up a little bit. Uh-uh. I, don't want you, I don't want you to feel like the whole trip's gay. We're good. Not if there's anything wrong. Yeah. With that. <laughs> you guys take you guys taking no. it in June of next year? Hell no. We don't fucking go in the summer. Going in the heat. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> we, got we got there. Worth it. I did that. I came up with that joke last year when he did the when he told us about it. <laughs> Been sitting on it ever since. That one joke was great. God damn it. Uh-huh. God damn it. All right. Well, we'll take a quick break so that Fred can rearrange his balls. Get it? Yeah. And we'll be right back with more <laughs> Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. The Black Lincoln Collective Podcast will return after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back to the 160th edition of the Black Lightning Collective Podcast. We're so glad you you're still with us. We're so glad we're still with you, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Lots going on. Fred took a like I said. Fred left the state as he is legally allowed to do once a month, that's right. once a yep. year, once a year, not twice a year. Yeah, once a twice year. a year now. You yeah. move yeah. Yeah. once yeah. once without my wife. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unlimited now amount of times with your family. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But only once, not with them. So he made it back. But Fred, while you were gone, it appears that all hell has broken loose across this, the pop culture landscape that we cover on this show oh. consistently. <laughs> yes. Got it. Love that we pop culture. Pop, pop, pop. 
like I said, pop pop pop, pop video. Yeah. yeah. I always was wanted to go on that. Uh, I always wanted to go on that. Uh, the dating show. The game show. No, the game show. Oh. Uh, what was it? Super, the or pop. Remote or pop. Yeah. Or remote it's control. Like Super Bowl. No, it's like the, the one World Series of pop culture. World oh, Series man. of pop culture. Yeah, was yeah it? no, it was the what World was the one that was in a pop. cab. That was Cash Cab. Cash Cab. Yeah. Yeah. Cash Cab. Yeah. Yeah, cash cash cab was good, man. Yeah, I would go on cash cab. Like I think cash. that's a fun. That's a fun idea. Yeah, you know, well, I, I imagine like cash in between. Super. My thing was like, I wonder if like there somebody would get in. Like, let's say one of us got in. Yeah, and like you know, I'm a little drunk probably, <laughs> and like not like, let's say as attractive as some of the people that would be on there. Right. I right. wonder if they're like just drive him where he needs to go. Don't yeah. tell them that you're. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let the, don't don't put off the the, the cash flow. Right. Don't the, tell the them you're flag. international yeah. superstar yeah. or whatever your name is. Like, yeah, my case would be like, just take him where he needs to go. Yeah, they're yeah. Like, so he's like, half the day I'm just a fucking taxi driver, <laughs> and the other half of the day I get to do this is ridiculous. Yeah. So I just that I just thought crazy. that was a cool show, but yeah, I would love to go on any of those shows. I'm trying to get mm-hmm. us on. Um, and I, we just need to get make the time for it because he keeps inviting us on. The, there's a guy out of Pennsylvania who does a trivia show, yeah. and he's he does a really good job. And so we'll get we'll try to get on that. It's a three person. Didn't we I go? go on? Okay. No, we never. We were gonna go on it. We never went on it because of reasons. I went on it, and I lost. And it's is it the, 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 the podcasting seven. whatever thing? Was it that guy? Yes. Yeah. International Day. Yeah. International yeah, Pie. yeah. 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 Uh, that guy. Oh, okay. So the guy we did International Pie, Fred, you yeah. weren't there. That day. Fred, you weren't there. You you yeah. bailed on us. You were. I think you might have been on your trip. I'm yeah. Cool you, yeah. Cool exactly. Hell yeah. yeah. You might have. <laughs> it always works. <laughs> it always does. So there's nothing they can do once you when if you don't show up. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> you gave me what, the wrong email address. You gave me the wrong link. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Reasons, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, Fred, like I was saying, anyway, all hell's yeah. broken loose. Yeah. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria, Fred. Yeah. And first it starts with us losing a great one, losing arguably, probably, in my opinion, and maybe I'm wrong, but one of yeah. the defining voices of the last what oh, sixty yeah. years? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Six the years decade, ago. Was, yeah. Of the century, man. Of the century. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know how a hundred years is a long time. Yeah, well, he's the yeah. Big, but I mean, I mean of well, course, a voice, you know. we're talking about the ever awesome, super cool looking guy, James Earl Jones. Yeah. 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 JG passed JG. away, he was what 92 93. So, great guy, yeah, voice of Darth Vader, yeah, 93 years old, and uh, you know, he was uh, the, the king, and uh, yep. Now coming to America. Coming to America, he, he was the dad. Yeah, Jaffe yeah. Joe Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Joffa. yeah, yeah, man. I mean, let them wait. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking to my son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, man. So he, I, I seen him do uh, uh, it's a movie Senses, but it was the stage play. Denzel played in the nah. movie. And like phenomenal job, but I saw a clip of him and Courtney B. Vance uh, in the stage play Fences, and powerful shit, man. I mean, that dude moves you. Oh yeah, delivered, dude. He delivered. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's a phenomenal actor. Dude, yeah, yeah, he, sure. he had the most iconic lines in, in Field of Dreams. Yeah, oh. he really did. Yeah. Ray, I'm not your father. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite. Ray, I'm not your father. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't yeah sell he, it, Ray, don't sell it, Ray. Yeah, don't sell it, don't do it, Ray. <laughs> he was in Doctor Strange Love. Of course, he was also the bad guy in Conan the Barbarian, which oh, is a, yeah, show that's that's right. a movie yeah, that was very yeah. close to to our hearts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so I mean, you got to love the guy. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really have anything bad to say about him. No. Nah, mm. Hall of Famer for sure. The Hall of Fame is growing exponentially. Yeah, but that's okay because you know what? That's just how many great people there are, Fred. Yeah, I mean, it really, is. it's a really small list if you think about it. I say it's growing exponentially, but when there's six point something billion people, and we have what, like six right. people seven, in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, six, yeah, seven, six seven. seven. 
We probably need to up those numbers a little bit, yeah. realistically. Yeah. <laughs> we probably need to up those numbers. <laughs> Come on, people. <laughs> I'm saying, what, if one, okay, all I'm saying is if one in a billion people right. are in the Hall of Fame, and some, they're, most of them are dead, so right. yeah. they're really not even on yeah. counted, then <laughs> we should try and get some more people in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, we should get some live ones in there. This isn't baseball, Alan. Yeah. yeah, okay. We should try to get some. You, you, what you we going, need to do is uh, once a year, like our like once a, a year. end of the year show. We should Are you have gonna, you know petition. You gonna petition OJ again, Alan? Yeah, every year. I'm, I'm gonna try, man. <laughs> I always get balked out. Trying to get OJ in. The I try, day. man, but it, I don't understand why you guys won't do it, man. <laughs> Soon enough, we got it. You can't. He can't be a first ballot. Uh, oh, just because of the controversy. <laughs> can't be a first round ballot. <laughs> it can't be a first round ballot. Pete. Right. You got to. He's got to wait it out. He's got to. He's going to be like Barry Bonds. <laughs> it's going to be a minute. He's going to get in. Yeah. But like, is Barry Bonds going to get? I know this isn't a baseball show, but Alan, you're a baseball guy. Is Barry Bonds going to get into the Hall of Fame? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I think so. so. I, I think, think Pete Rose should be in too. If Pete yeah. Rose should. Have, he, I don't understand. You know the the he, dude that got the fifty killing fifth, himself though, man. That that dude he, that he just hit the himself. fifty whatever home runs and fifty whatever. Shohei Otani. Yeah, oh, he did Shohei what Pete Otani. Rose did. He yeah, did no, yeah, his yeah, no, his he did, and his he translator did it. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, Pete Rose should have had a translator. <laughs> he did. <No. laughs> it was his bookie. <laughs> well, yeah, but you gotta, you know, that's how it goes, man. So anyway. R.I.P. James Earl Jones. Yeah, James Earl Jones. He is our father. Yep. You can't say that. He's Simba. I, 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 Simba. I, I, Simba. He's Mustafa. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, say it again. Mustafa. I wish we could have him on the show. I wish if Everything he, that the light if is. at some point, Fred, Yeah. and I, I'm suspending belief because I fully believe that James Earl Jones is a good guy. He probably right. went up. But if yeah. he by chance went down for some reason, mm-hmm. we don't know about, don't know. and our friend... Who visits the show quite often? Oh, no. Not tonight. <laughs> you gonna say that? You gonna talk him up? If he yeah. was to come visit, and maybe we could get via him, we yeah. could get James Earl, you know, just to see how it's going. Gonna, what's he gonna? Uh, what are you possessing for? I mean, well, gonna, he, gonna, well, I mean, he's got. I don't know if they're mics in hell. Yeah, I don't know how it works. Yeah, it works yeah. you know? I assume it's. I assume it's Bluetooth because it's got to be the most frustrating one. And when you're trying to set up a new Bluetooth thing and there's no instruction how to do it, it's so frustrating. Yep. So that's why saying this just you have to. But that's the thing. If you want to, is in hell. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in hell, you have to set up a new device every time you use a phone. (laughs) So that's why Satan's always combative when he comes on because he's like, I spent 20 Uh, minutes setting this bitch up (laughs) every time. Now my pictures won't pour it over. Right. (laughs) Never never turns down the music. Damn, Apple always making me put my password in. Right. And then it says it's the wrong password, even though I just put the right one in there. So I try to change it, and it says you cannot use the current password. Yeah. And you're like, no. (laughs) All right. So anyway, James Earl Jones, he was paid $7,000 to be Darth Vader's voice. Yeah, be the voice of Vader, yeah. That's crazy. That's, and you know that it was 19, he, what, 77? 77? 77. And before he died, he gave his rights away so they people could use it after his Oh, death. they could use his voice? Yes. Really? Oh, shit. We got to do that. How do we do yeah. that? Yeah. Well, let's look into that, uh, yeah. someone. Somebody. Yeah, he gave he, he, he Tech team, him. wherever you are. <laughs> tech so, team. okay, well, the tech team is where? Is off. They're off forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They get, we can only afford to have them one. Just yeah. like Fred, Fred can only leave the state once a year. We can only have the tech team one show a year. Yeah, one show a year. And they we never to, show up. We already, already can afford. Yeah. Pay them in advance. I like to try and save them for Christmas. But, you know, that way we can ruin their Christmas Yeah, and make them do work at the same time. So it's good times. Well, I, well speaking of ruining things, no. Fred, Mm-hmm. All of Diddy's music has been ruined for me. Uh-oh. Not that I, in fairness, I didn't listen to him previously. I was about to say. But there was that I one song. What was that one song that he did with like, it was like, uh, was it a Led Zeppelin or somebody like he, where he took. Uh, well, he did the uh, Godzilla. Uh, the Godzilla yeah, yeah, right. With like the, who's yeah. that? Leonard Skinner, Led Zeppelin, something like that. Yeah. That song was Zeppelin. Zeppelin. 
You know what I'm talking yeah. about, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. That was the Godzilla soundtrack. I, I, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. That was tight. Yeah. Puffy, Puffy been had his hands in music since what early nineties? Yeah, so, like, right. yeah. I mean, if you grew up in the nineties, you heard Puff. I mean, Puff. Yeah, Daddy, oh, yeah. It was yeah. intimately Daddy, familiar. Daddy Love or whatever else he want to call himself. Sean Combs, right? That's his real but, name. Uh, his ass is fucked now. Oh, <laughs> For yeah. lack of better words, he, he, he's you know what? Done, dude. I don't know, man. Nah, Honestly. He, I think basically, if this was if it was me, you know, I think he's he, he's done, but he's not done. Yeah, I, I because basically the government's got everything they need to blackmail yeah. every motherfucker out there. Right, they're just gonna put him in prison for a couple of years and let him yeah. go. That is, I no, I think it's, I think it's a little deeper. I got my conspiracy theories about it, but like I think I think he's he's the new Epstein. Because I think that's what Uh-oh. they had Epstein for. He's a black Epstein? Yeah, he's a black Epstein. He's a black Stein. And, uh, <laughs> Dude. <laughs> they were gonna they were trying to flip Epstein. Right. And, and I think that's why Epstein died. You know what I'm saying? Because they yeah. knew they was gonna flip him and he was gonna give it up. So they killed him for it. And now I think they're gonna do the same with Puff. Well, you see, but to- I think Epstein had all the government people. And yeah, that's and Puff has all the high profile like Hollywood people, right? So but all of them, they're they're bald. all them worlds, all them worlds are entangled. You know what I'm saying? Them two worlds are entangled. Yeah, but dude. They're, like, they're all bought. Basically, it's like, hey, uh, uh, Sam Elliott, uh, yeah, what's that in your mouth? Hell, yeah. <laughs> you know, what's that in your mouth? <laughs> what's that growing on your lip there? Buddy? Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> you know yeah, man. I mean. And that's the thing about it, like everybody's got tapes, you know what I'm saying? And right, right. It's ironclad. It's got, not they like they got the receipts, yeah. They yeah, got the receipts, Damn. man. Like, there's no yeah. way he's not. Boy, know? there's so that many was, celebrities was, who are dude, and like Odell Beckham right. Jr. And you seen that video yeah. with Bieber and, 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 and Bieber? Yeah. Bieber? Oh my god. No, dude, like, yeah, have you, you really seen that can, Parker? No. No. Oh, it's you don't the, want it. Oh, it's, it's, the, it's, it's the innuendo because you can't see nothing. You can't see but, nothing. Like, but he was not snorting coke. Yeah. Oh, was, is that the one where they're like in the club or whatever? Yeah. Like, okay, I did. I think I did see that. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy so, man. so he's that. So he's going away. Like, yeah, he's going away, man. Yeah, he's going away. And that, and but like, for what? Because I don't know if they. They haven't released any charges. I've I've seen the affidavit, and it just talks about like talks about sex trafficking, like right. uh, which is bad, which is bad. Yeah, for the re- just for the record on the show, flying in prostitutes and yeah. male and female prostitutes. Um, it talks about um, like him beating okay. his girlfriend. Good stuff. Fun stuff. Yeah, like are they getting him just, for all that? See, I thought it was something simple, like what they did to Al Capone. You know, all these other charges really they're not like we, we ain't worried about this. We're just gonna get you for this one thing. Well, well, with Capone, it was what they could prove. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't really prove <laughs> anything else except tax evasion. So that's what they got his ass on. And uh, but like with this, they saying um See, I don't think they're gonna. Yeah. I don't well, like think you said gonna they got do. receipts. Like they can. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're gonna get them for all that. Just like they did with Epstein. Interstate think, transport for purposes of prostitution, coercion. I don't think. See, I don't think they're gonna do nothing. Honestly, I think the government's gonna be like, "We got everything we need to get off of you." You know, just rot in jail for a couple of years and get out of here. Nah. Do what did to R. Kelly, didn't. You? Where yeah, but, R- Kelly but 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 R- yeah, but R. Kelly didn't. Have, but R. Kelly didn't have videos of Sam Elliott <laughs> with something. Right. In his- <laughs> yeah, but like I don't know why he's Sam saying. Elliott. I don't know why you are either. Did he was he in part of this? Was no. he? Yeah, I was about to say, does he really have? Because I don't no. want to get him into. Like, don't I don't want to get Elliott on his bad side. I gotta look it up. Allegedly, that right? <laughs> okay, he said, I don't think, 
It doesn't seem like there's any connection just for the record. No, no, just for the record. <laughs> it was just, you know. <laughs> you knew for a fact that you knew for Sam a fact Elliott. that OBJ may be part of this. And you yeah, were like, yeah. I'm just gonna pick on like Sam the Elliott. least likely guy that oh, yeah. can do this. The coolest guy in Hollywood I'm gonna pick on. Right. <laughs> and talk about his mustache and fucking yeah. having herpes on his lip. <laughs> Some people call him Diddy. Some people call him Puppy. Right. <laughs> I call him the dude. <laughs> I just call him the dude with the baby oil. Yeah, I call him the dude with the baby oil. That's crazy, yeah. man. Well, that's insane, man. So, so like, safe to say, this is probably the last we'll hear yeah. of Diddy for they at least for a little him, while. They got him locked up without bail. No. Yeah, they didn't even they, give him bail. But they can't give him bail, dude. He's got too well, much he, money. Yeah, he, he, he's a flight risk. Yeah, he's a flight risk. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah he's got like multiple like, jets. Just like Russell, Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons left the country and came back. Right. Yes. He, they, yeah, yeah, he, he like in Belize. Yes. Yeah, he ain't coming back. He's no, he not coming back. Would you? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh-uh. So there you go. Well, oh. And it wasn't in what Russell Simmons did. Ain't nothing compared to Diddy. Nothing compared to what Puffy did. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. What what did Russell Simmons do? He's just beating on people and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Or like me too uh, type deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Beating on the ladies. Mm-hmm. Well, you still don't want to go to jail. And if you have the means to be oh. like I'm not gonna go, then like yeah. you gotta do what you gotta yeah, do. I, I, I think Puff thought I think I think he thought that he was gonna get bail. That's why he turned himself in. I really think yeah. he, well I no, think, because they said that they was coming for him Saturday. They told him they was like, yeah, we'll they told him Saturday, that, you know, yeah. we're coming and he to was get like, you. All right, I'll wait. For- yeah, they popped up on Friday. Yeah, but still, if you tell me you know you're going to be there on Saturday, no I'm leaving on Wednesday. I'm if, I don't right think now. I'm, I'm you know, if, right. you know, I I think he thought that he was going to get out. He wouldn't, he, he wouldn't have gotten away. They had eyes on him. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. They, was watching they expected him, that, you know yeah. Yeah, there's no way he could have got away. If he just started heading toward the airport, they'd have pulled his ass over and got him in. You know what I mean? He yeah, would have been like, yeah. uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been in the car. Tom told that we won't stop. Tom told you that we won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep driving. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, man. No, well, like, bye. Bye, puppy. Bye, and that's puppy. a shame because, I mean, yeah. I mean, I tell you. He, he's talented. I mean, when it comes to music-wise, sure. he was talented. Yeah. That, um, that R. Kelly Puff Daddy tape going to be hot. Ooh yeah! Yeah, that's they gonna make music and check. Check Yeah, that's gonna be a <laughs> remix there. There you go. Yeah, you look Ooh. under the cabinet and see a midget for sure now. <laughs> I saw a meme. Well, I saw I saw uh, the video of uh where Art with Gail. Remember Gail interviewed R. Kelly, and <laughs> <Yeah>. uh <laughs> somebody that. somebody fucked with the uh video because it was the part where he was like, "They stay a whole time, people." <laughs> I don't know how to hold time, nobody. <laughs> and he goes, hey, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <see that. laughs> he was all crying. I don't know how to hold time, people. <laughs> a fucking AI is awesome. Oh my yeah, God. AI he is crazy. That well, rope and just smile. I said, oh my God. It's stupid. So yeah, we're going to wait for the, uh, like I said, the P. Diddy and R. Kelly remix to come out. Oh yes, yeah. and what could be the comeback of the century, Fred? Yep. I don't think yep. you can like download or listen to that without being like a really bad person. I don't know how that works at that point. It's hard because they're doing their time. Yeah, it's <laughs> hard. To, I mean, like I, I still like R. Kelly music, but like, right? You don't want nobody to hear you listening to it, like, right? Right. Like you said, <laughs> you got to listen yeah. to it in the closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, I mean, remember that video he did? The, yeah, it was like a whole fucking movie, man. That's what the it mention was like from. 23 parts, man. Yeah, this shit was ridiculous. <laughs> like, so we'll wait on the midget, midget, midget. He's under the sink. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, Big Mike? I think his name yeah. was Big Mike. He knocks the pick up. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, like I said, we'll wait for that comeback. But here's another comeback, Fred, that All hasn't right. been so great. Fred, yeah. are you have you heard of a lady named Katy Perry? I have heard of Katy Perry. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. Alan, you probably heard of her too. Yeah, I've heard of her. Hate well, she was once one, 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 one of the world's biggest pop stars. Yep, she was. But her new album, which was her comeback album, has been plagued by controversy and failed singles. Oh, yeah. Yep, here's why. Or here's why she stumbled and what it says about music yeah. today. I'm not going to read all this because there's a lot. But needless to say, <laughs> in July, two months after its release, it was difficult to, I don't know, everything sucks. Everything about her sucks. Did it, it, and, did it flop? It, yeah, apparently it, it, did, it just flop. didn't do very well. It said yeah. they felt it was too feminist and it was fatally undermined by her choice of collaborator, mm. who was Luke Luke Eggs Godwalt, better known as Dr. Luke. Oh. Don't know who that is. No, Dr. No, Luke, like Luke Skywalker? Skywalker? I guess. From Two Life Crew? <laughs> That would have been awesome if it had been Luke yeah. Skywalker from True Life Crew. <laughs> I'm telling you, what killed her was uh, American Idol, man. She's been yeah. on American Idol for what, 10 years? You get out of the game. Yeah, she's not. That's what game, you do man. when you're like, when you're done. Yeah. She ain't you know? hungry no more. Yeah. American what, killed Idol, her, no, what killed her was when she went against them nuns. It's hard to go against the nuns. <laughs> Hard to go against the nuns. Yeah, yeah, even, even her Super Bowl was so she, she, she killed. She yeah. killed. Them, she kicked the nuns out of the nunnery. <laughs> shit like out of the nunnery. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess that's what they call it. <laughs> yeah, get thee to a nunnery. Yeah, get out of the nunnery. Get thee to a nunnery. Get thee to a nunnery. So, well, Katy Perry. I feel bad for Katy. I don't hate Katy Perry, but I do agree with you yeah. that you kind of there's like a point in your career where yeah. you're like. All right, I'm like no longer relevant. No, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm decided I don't want to be relevant anymore, and I just want to like exist. And that's yeah. when you get on the shows. And uh, but I wonder if she really wanted to do an album, or she was forced by the record label to do it. You might have, she might have owed him one. Yeah, she might yeah owed you know, because like you said, she was yeah. a American Idol. She was already. Yeah, you, she know, said. you know, her yeah. legacy was already before. Now her right. legs is up in a way. Yeah. I mean, not really, but you know. I mean, she, well, I mean, she was pretty famous. She still yeah, got I mean, it's hits. not like she still got hits. You know what I mean? They still play her fucking shit. That's 20 years old. You know yeah, well, that's right, right. You know what I mean? mean? Hits is the, yeah. the, the well, on, on Metacritic, it has a 35, and Rolling Stone calls the album a hollow effort to reclaim relevance. Damn, mm-hmm. and if Rolling Stone did that, that's it's gonna be awful. Man, Ro- Rolling Stone ain't like, got the way it used to. No, that's what yeah, I'm that's true. Yeah, Rolling yeah. Stone really doesn't say nothing negative about anybody except right. Trump. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They just say something negative about her. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. It's got to be bad if they're going to be like, ah, right. we're not going to stick right. with this one either. We usually mm-hmm. stuck everybody's dick. You know yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like this is where we draw the line. Yeah, this is where we draw the Sorry, line. Sorry, Katie. So, well, that's yeah. crazy, man. Like I said, who? I, Maybe she's done. I don't know. She should, she's she done. She's done. Only fans. There you go. She, I heard yeah. she make a lot of money on it. She probably could. I mean, does she need? But that's the well, thing, man. The thing? Like, does saying, she need money? Look, she's got to be worth. They were saying the top uh, ten earners of OnlyFans made more than all the players in the NBA to put together. I don't believe that. I don't believe that either. Yeah, I don't believe uh, it either. But that's how much money they're talking see, about. See, now you're gonna make me look up the fucking <sighs> payment. Uh, he does this every week, ladies and gentlemen. He's like, I'm going to make Matt fuck up his algorithm. Okay, top 10 OnlyFans earners. Okay, at least I don't have to go to OnlyFans to get there. Okay. All right, so... I just said I made that shit up. You did. Well, the okay, so the you're not wrong, though. Bella Thorne, who's the number one OnlyFans person, makes $11 million a month. A so month? Going to wrestler? That's what it says. Monthly earning. Uh, I can. Just, she's an actress, musician, and model. And I guess she just joined whatever. I don't know. She got onto it in 2019 and super rich. Cardi B is number two with $9.5 million a month. God damn. Uh, no. and well, Katie That's Perry insane. should be the only fan. Yeah, she's yeah, worth she $350. Four ninety nine a month is how much. Uh, Iggy Azalea is three at nine point two million a month. I wouldn't pay for that. Hers is twenty five bucks a month. Coco okay. Austin, who I don't even know who that is, American model, actress, and TV personality, is coming in at nine million a month. A month. 
a month. Mia That's Khalifa, insane. who is, from what I have read only on here and have never heard of her before now, is yeah. a, a corn star. Uh, <laughs> yes, the one that ate some and, dog shit. Sure, maybe. 6.5. So I mean, they're making money, man. Six point five million dollars a month. Boy, you know, well, shit. If she can, if they're making so, six point five, I can make like sixty five dollars a month on OnlyFans. Yeah, oh, you could definitely. Yeah, you know, that'd, be picks, yeah. that'd be great for me. That'd be great for me. Well, whip it out and do what happen, do what you got to do, man. Shit, why not? Why I mean, that's the thing. You all you got to do is wear a mask, friend. No one will know it's you. <laughs> no one, no one. Go back. Well, you know what? In no time, I know that teeny weeny afro. In no time <laughs> rusty, at all, that rusty half a beard. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, Kayla, be like, I know that birthmark. <laughs> <laughs> no, in no time at all, though, Fred, you'll be able to buy that sex dungeon you spent last weekend. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> it would have been bad if it had a TV down there. Like, if it had a TV, ah, down yeah, there, there you go. go. Well, it's scary, you know. That's the thing. No, like they, they that, had a TV, but it was like one of them. TV com- VCR combo. Oh, you can't try <laughs> <VCR. laughs> You remember the little one that the yeah. tech combo had? They had it like mounted to uh, the wall. And I was like, what the fuck? They didn't even have like VHS tapes down there. Like, yeah, exactly. Who's gonna that's where they show that's, that's where they show snuff films, Fred. Yeah, yes. that's what it's that's right. Films. Which brings me to this week's sponsor of the show. Fred. <laughs> it's new from Jurgens. That's right, Fred. Every week we're doing a new pumpkin spice themed Jergens product. And new from Jergens, Fred, pumpkin spice VHS tapes. <laughs> the only place to watch them is at the cabin that Fred stayed at. The cabin in the basement. <laughs> so enjoy pumpkin spice flavored VHS tapes. I don't know if they're flavored or they smell that way. You have to lick them. I don't know how it all works. Mm, scratch a snip. But it is pumpkin spice time, Fred. And I'm getting there, but it's it not. Illuminates. At all. Pumpkin Spice the television. Right, but so Fred, Pumpkin Spice got me thinking, because again, our friends at Jurgens, Jurgens, whip it out, Fred, for OnlyFans. So, make us some money, Fred. Wow. Do what you gotta do. I would show my feet, okay, but it. no one wants to see that shit. I'll do that. I'll show my feet. Yeah, why not? Well, I'm sure somebody okay. does. No, yeah, no, no one wants, wants to see No one wants to see this. I'm sure somebody I don't, I don't even want to see it. Somebody no. wants to see my feet. It's gonna be weird. Right. It would be weird to know though that like if they're like, oh, a bunch of dudes are like, I'm gonna make that. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a picture of my foot and then like, but I'm gonna draw like a smiley face on the big toe on the bottom yeah. of the big toe, so they can't that's identify. Gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be my profile pic. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Send me foot oh, pics. Send Fred foot me. pics I'm on, <laughs> on Twitter, and, and he'll put them on his, his foot man. only fans. I'm just gonna be foot man. Foot guy. Manfoot. Want to see my foot? Call me Robert Manfoot. Feet, feet Bounty weird. hunter. Feet are weird, man. Feet are gross. Feet are weird. Anyway, so Fred, feet are spooky. Feet get you going. Pumpkin spice is spooky. Fall is spooky. And Fred, it's finally uh, October, which it means is. it's the spookiest season. Yeah. So Fred, what spirit, we did, what Spirit Alan, Halloween Alan, time. That's right. Yeah, they're popping up everywhere, baby. I love it. I love it. So, yeah. Fred, what Alan and I did, well, what I did, and it's Alan thought fun. about it, hmm. is I talked to our old friends at AI. Oh, yeah. And they explained, I asked them to to summarize some movie plots for you guys to try and figure out some horror movie plots. So I have mm-hmm. four. Four. And they uh, AI said, I will do this for you, but I will do it as a five-year-old would explain it. Okay. So I will try to speak in my best five year old voice. Oh, but right. for you. This is gonna be hard to do for you guys, just so you know. Okay, so here we go. I have four of these and then we'll uh we'll we'll wrap it. Uh but okay, so first there's this force movie where a man who talks funny becomes very smart because he played video games. At first he's nice and kind, but then he turns into bit mean and can do magic things with his mind. It's like he becomes a superhero, but no, not one you want to play with. Lawnmower Man. Ah, yeah. Ah, I'm just, yeah. It. It. Wow. Ah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Wow. Well, good job, guys. Yep. In the next movie, there are these guys who catch spooky things. There's a green ghost, and they had these big, 
funny oh, looking boy. machines that trapped a ghost. The <laughs> men wear special outfits and save the city from becoming super scary and haunted. <laughs> Bush like Cassidy that. and the Sundance skin. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters is correct. A uh, close second was Butch Cassidy. And the, they're not hard, <laughs> but they're fun. So there's another movie where a scary man with a weird face comes into people's dreams. And when they sweep, he tries to get him and it's super scary. Everyone tries to stay awake, but somehow his bad stuff happens in the real world too, even though he's only into dreams. Uh, uh, Freddy Krueger. Cre- no, but Freddy which one? Cre- yeah, no, Dream Warriors? Three. Is that Dream it's Warriors? Dream Warriors. <laughs> no, it's not Dream Warriors. You're close. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, Night, it's Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Uh, part two. Uh, Don't know why. Two. It's very generalized, but that's the, uh, that's what happened. The okay, last one, and then we'll see if you can get this one's pretty easy, I think. They're, they're all pretty easy. We'll, we may do this with a little more mm. um, present. Let's, what do you call it? Presentation. No, not presentation. Mm-hmm. Uh Pre-work, doing work before. What do you call it? preparation? That's the thing. Pre- right, anyway, doing pre-work. Work. <laughs> some, doing we're work. not good at this, ladies and gentlemen. Pre-work. We're one hour in, and the rails have fallen off. <laughs> now it's this movie, Fred, and it's about a girl who climbs out of a really scary well. People watch a tape with weird pictures, and after watching it, they get a phone call, which is very creepy nowadays. <laughs> and it's about a curse, and it makes you shiver thinking about it. Uh, the omen. The, no, it ain't the omen. <laughs> the ring. No, it ain't the ring. It's the omen. It's the it's, it's the, the omen. It's the sexist. No, it's the sexist. It, I wish it was the sexist. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't mean to say sexist. Oh my god, I, that, I, that's, that's a real thing. I know that's a real thing. It's <laughs> oh, you know that's a real thing. That's that's a real real that's only fan somewhere. Yeah, so, yeah oh, that probably yeah, makes eight million dollars too. a year. You can only get the sex system videotape. Yeah, that's, like, that's how old that is. Man. Yeah, be a VHS <laughs> beta. Sex system came out in 1974. Oh yeah. <laughs> And there's a game now also called The Sexorcist. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of that, which is great. So there you go. So Alan, Alan, in hell. Yeah, no. So was I right? <laughs> yeah, it was the, it was the ring. Yeah. Oh, it was the yeah. ring. Okay. Yeah, she come in, she climbed out of a scary well. Yeah, so it's Fred. We're going to try and do something fun and thing or like uh, scary Halloween. every week for Halloween. So if you have anything Halloween. scary, if you have anything scary, oh, we had a uh, we have one uh, listener recommend, and I agree with him. I think this would be great uh, that we do a uh, show from an escape room where we yeah. like we the three of us try to do the escape room and record it right, right at the same time. Yeah, can you, I'm in. Can you I think, do that? Right. Can you do that? Can you record yeah. an escape room? Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, they don't care. We can go. I mean, we're not gonna like videotape. I mean, I guess we could videotape it. Yeah, well, it'd be a lot of work. Yeah, we can do it. Would be. No, you just we, just, we could just, just wear just, GoPros. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, well, GoPros. start that OnlyFans, Fred. <laughs> you can buy the GoPros. You can buy the GoPros. If you, and you can use see them. The Black League Collective podcast, do a live or do a podcast from an escape room. Donate to the Patreon. Right. Put it on the Patreon. Put it on the Give Patreon. us enough money for three GoPros. Matt won't share it with us, but no, it'll be I won't. on the Patreon. I won't because I'm the only one. <laughs> Now, due to some things that have changed recently, the only person... Yeah, that's right. We just got one. We're right. down to one. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm the only one donating to our Patreon right now, you son of a bitch. He still has to go to... <laughs> so there you go. Now you know. Okay. Oh, Sorry, because I'm signed up to the highest tier. I'm getting my money's worth and more. Sign up to our Patreon right now. Please. <laughs> please, 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 please. I tried to get my kid to sign up to it. I got him a Patreon gift card. He won't even sign up to my show. Anyway, nah, uh, <laughs> you give it to Mr. Beast. Yeah, yeah he's, like, oh. Beast. Yeah. he's like, I can give it to any of this Fortnite guy. I'm like, damn it. Yeah, you give it to the Fortnite guy. Yeah, that's how it goes. But anyway, well, Fred, yes. Yeah, so anything you have, yeah. any ideas that anybody has that they yeah, want to do, let's do it. We have, we should go to Mad World. Yeah, yeah on an attraction. Mad. Yeah, Mad World has the and, escape room. And we just need yeah. to get we'll get some GoPros. 
Oh, they have an escape room there? Perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah. We can make we can do it in the middle of the day. We'll just tape our phones to our heads. Huh? Right. So oh, so they see what we see. I think it yeah. shouldn't be turned around so it's like looking at us. Oh no, those are weird. Because then That's you get weird. that movement yeah. where it's like if you're running. Yeah. We're not running, it's an escape. It's not like you actually know, have to escape like, the room. Have you ever done an escape room, Fred? Yes, I have. Okay, I've only done one. like like I'm 12, gonna run. With like twelve people right. and it was horrible. Yes, that's too many people. There was too many people. It was too, way yeah, too many. many people. You know, yeah. three is a good number. My wife and right. I did one together, and we were immensely. I'm going to say immensely successful. Probably, you know, not a. She's much better at it than I am, of course. Right. So, but it was super fun. I mean, there's like scary part. I had an right. axe at one point. It was Ooh. great. We did. I think it was like Lizzie Borden. We had to prove that Lizzie Borden did it. We found the axe. Yeah. Oh, oh. Don't uh, want to spoil any. She did it, yeah. you guys. So it's too late now. But we we solved that mystery, Fred. Wow, for yeah. sure. But Put that one to bed. And I burned the yeah. escape room down on the way out. So I was like, we solved it. Case. No need to do this anymore. <laughs> Burn it down. So anyway, yeah. So we'll do it. I, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, be good. You know, now that it's getting cold, we won't be able to do any more golf outings, Blackland Collective golf outings. But yeah. you know. It's fine. It's fine. It's also, we got stickers. I forgot to bring them in, but we have stickers. If you want some stickers, yep. you just send them to me. The great thing about these stickers, Fred, is that yep. they may or may not immediately fuck up as soon Damn. as they get rained on. Nice. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why they're free. So reach out to the show, and I will best send best you some stickers. stickers. Great stickers. The BLC yeah. you in hell stickers. Yep. Little, little uh, skeleton. The best. Skeleton face, yeah, whatever they call it. <laughs> skeleton, I think I it is a skeleton. It's a yelling, he's screaming at you and saying, it's BLC, you in hell because he's a skeleton. I'll put it on my, work. yeah, that's what it's going to cover your whole thing. Look at that. I got them all, yeah, you got a lot in there. All right, anyway, well, thanks for listening, everybody. Well, look at Fred's water bottle. I like pickles. Listen to the sexorcist on VHS, yep, pumpkin spice VHS, <laughs> and you know what. <laughs> Go ahead and frequent your local sex dungeon. They need all the help. COVID really put sex, put a hit on the sex dungeon industry. <laughs> did. So those of us who run, who may or may not allegedly run a sex dungeon, <laughs> are hurting right now. So you know what I'm saying. So do do us all a favor and just you know patronize your local sex dungeon. Yes, please do. <laughs> They're gonna love it. They're gonna love it. It's not as scary as you think. It's not as scary. Yeah, it's more fun than you think. It's more fun. Yes. So get in the Halloween spirit, Fred. Yeah. Put some put a pumpkin spice dildo in your anus. <laughs> you gotta prime it first. That's right. You gotta prime the pump. You gotta prime this pump. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we'll, we'll get out of here. Pump's been primed. We'll see you next week. For a new episode of, of whatever the fuck we call the show. are laughing <laughs> and we are very good friends <laughs> good buddy sharing a special moment <laughs>